home by home. It's in the normalcy that makes life worth living. Going home and finding out your sister got an A on her test. Going home and talking to mom about her hard day at work while cutting up onions for beef stew. Then sitting down at dinner with your loved ones and making silly jokes about how Laura is eating the beans like a rabbit. Cleaning the dishes afterwards, not really liking it, but hey, tarnish is part of life. Then sitting down together to watch a cartoon movie in your living room. The movie ends, you all talk about how good it was. Your favorite part where the cartoon panda got hit in the face with a bowl of spaghetti and looked like an octopus afterward. My other family members share their favorite parts. We all hug. Give mom a kiss on the cheek at night, sneak in a bowl of ice cream, and it's off to bed you go to have sweet dreams or possibly kind of demented ones because you ate the bowl of ice cream right before bed. Either way, you're going to wake up safe. You'll instantly know that you're loved when you do. And you've got a lot of food in a nice house with a lot of stuff to do. You don't question that when you have it. It's your whole world. Who could ask for anything more than that? It is the epitome of comfortable living, where you're your own superstar among people who know you better than you know yourself. There's nothing left to want to trade. The entire world operates all within one tiny house like a coral reef of healthy, propagating psychological impact.